held position. Sort of flicks the one in. And this rack is going to get Efren to to nine. What what Ricky needs Efren to do is is have a miscue and have it in this rack come back and win his to tie it up and then then you're talking. Beautiful shot there with top left English. They would call 11 o'clock pool player on the clock face. In fact, this is, I would say, the most, well, they're all critical, but this game right here, Efren, if he can establish, re-establish a three-rack lead and go up 9-6 at... Uh, Odds are very, very long that Ricky will be able to catch him. Nice draw there. Yeah, but almost too good. Yeah, he's up against the seven, but it's not it's, it's not gonna bother him too much. Doesn't have too much to do with the white ball. Just trundle this white ball forward. Oof. Woohoo! Okay, he's just about all right. If he can't slip the seven into the side, I think he can. There's always a bank open. How's he landed here? Oh, wow! Look at that! Yeah. Can he still cut it in? He, he might be able to. But how do you control the white off something like this? There's no way to control the white. It's going to run and run and run. Now he's going to oh. miss oh. this shot. And oh, boy. Oh, 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 Well, <laughs> oh, boy. you're good, you're good. But sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Man, that hung on the jaws forever. I could have sworn that thing was staying on the bed of the table. But instead, it just topples in, and that is a huge... That was huge. Huge turning point there. That was huge. You know, 9-6 now. It, and if that thing hangs up, for sure, Yang steps through, and then it's 8-7, then he's breaking, then it's 8-8. Eight, eight. So, you know, you're talking the difference between 9-6 and 8-8. Eight, eight. That's a three-rack turnaround right there. He's got to get a break and run out here. I mean, this is a must win. He's, he's got it just to hang on. He's got to win. And he needs help, too. It's like one of those playoff situations in football, you know, win and need help. Yeah, but, and I think he will. I think he's, I think he'll hang on. You know, I, I really believe that he's going to make effort and earn it. He's not going to give it to him. I think you'd be okay the rest of the, the rest of the way. Look how far he's getting down on it. You know? And luckily for him. Uh-oh. But you know what? There's a combination though, huh? I Available. suspect that Efren is gonna try and kick this in. I think so. Yeah, play it into that side cushion, kick it in. And then just as I say that, he's going to take it on the other side. Interesting. I thought, wow. Usually he, he would play this. Well, he's going yeah, to have to go for the bridge. He's pointing at something there. Maybe that's where he wants to bring wants one the, of the balls. The cue ball, maybe. I really don't understand what he's trying to do here. Oh, he's Safety. trying to play safe. What a yeah. great shot. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Decided to go defensive instead of offensive, as I expected him to. We you He's know, put Yang in this spot. Yeah, you know Yang. I mean, this is a shot of the match for him. He got. He has to make this. What a uh, shot! Nice. Yeah, 
And you know, he avoids the hole. Now watch out, watch out. It does avoid it. Twice he almost scratched on that shot, and then unfortunately the camera panned away, as luck would have it. But uh, Efren can't believe it. That was a heck of a shot. Watch this. Now watch it. Tracks over there. No. Now coming back over here, the crowd holding its collective breath right now because, and yeah, just out of the way. But one more tough shot. Can he answer the bell? Oh. Yeah, isn't that the way it goes? Oh, I think he snatched at that one. Yeah, and look, look at the position he's given up. Oh, boy, and another substandard shot there by Efren. Well, he's given himself awkward queuing over the nine. But he'll take that over yeah. the possibility that, uh, I mean, that, that two should have been made by Yang. Rattles at home. Now position on the six. Means a lot. Ooh, boys, he run it too much. He doesn't like it. Wanted to be a lot straighter than that. He's played such a such a wonderful tournament and <laughs> This is probably the sloppiest phase of play that we've seen him do. Well, he knows that, and he, I, he's trying his best to communicate that to the crowd. And you know, it's been a, it's been a long three days for him. And remember, he played that semifinals and immediately comes back on again. I mean, I know you were commenting before he played five games in a row, probably in the states just recently when he won all that money. Five and games he, in a row for like a week. Yeah. So this is nothing, but. Uh, a good piece of knowledge there to manage that bump off the eight. That was. That was super. Now he's back online. This to go on the hill. And he does just that. Efren Reyes. One rack away from his second victory on the 2006 San Miguel Asian Nine Ball Tour. There's the man of the hour, Efren Reyes right there. Can he step through the gate here and claim his second leg victory? Remember, he won Ho Chi Minh in our initial leg, and he will be breaking for the match. And how appropriate it is, he steps to the table with his fate in his own hands. Ricky Yang has been game this match. He's fought back, but... It might not be enough, but hold the phone. No shot on the blue two. That's tough. Or, or maybe he can get a piece of it, though. No, he can't see any of it. He elects to go for the push out. This ought to be interesting. 
and he's he's played he's played a snooker, has he? Did he want to do that? I think Yang is going to pass this back. Well, yeah, of course he will. Unless he can get the right edge of that two, I think he's going to pass this back. No, there's no way when you're down 10-6 no, that he, you're going to take it. He can get a bit of it, so he might take it. Nope. Just don't believe he'll take it down by four racks. Uh, it would put too much pressure on him to deliver, and I don't think that's what he wants to do at the moment. And again, I'm wrong. <laughs> Just take so, this white up table, well, take the two to the right side, bottom right side of the yeah, screen, he, hope for a hide. He's baiting him. And did he get there? Yes, he did. Oh, Great shot by Ricky shot. Yang. Wonderful shot. Very surprised he took it, so showing a lot of nerve there, Ricky Yang. Watch this. There's your obligatory con uh, contact that you have to make. And there. That was the business end of it, that last little roll or two. Okay, Efren really up against it now. He will have to climb up on the table. Good hit. Contact. Wait a minute, though. Well, he's lined himself up here, so Yang now really has an advantage. Look at the table now. Every shot now, shot of the match for Ricky. And Ricky's fighting till the bitter end. Yeah, you know, there's it's his rack. Well, I've been wrong three times today, Bob. I'm, I'm wrong most of the time, actually. It's Sunday and With I didn't everything. go to it's Sunday and I didn't go to church. That's oh, why no. I didn't have time. Okay, so Ricky. Good looking table for him to operate on. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is a massive blunder there. Well, let's see if he's got the room to jump and. Yeah, he. You know, his face says smile, but uh, you can bet underneath it. It's not what he's doing at all. It's not what it's about. Now he will have to jump. He can jump. He can actually kick at this, I uh, think. Uh, but no, he's going to go go for the jump cue. And, you know, it's it's a. Relatively easy jump. I mean, if you're going to have a shot, you're going to have to, because it's sitting right in the, not in the middle of the pocket, slightly right side or left side, but. Trouble is, as you said before, Bob, on these jump shots, very difficult to control the cue ball. Yeah, he doesn't like the jump. He's just going to go for the kick. He can still make this with a kick. Has he done enough? Wow. He has not done enough. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I mean, this rack was sitting pretty for him after that Reyes miss. Oh, my goodness. Efren Reyes, what a great last few months he's had. He's won the World Cup of Pool with Bustamante, won half a million dollars in the IPT World Open. And it looks like he's going to win the Jakarta leg of the 2006 San Miguel Asian Ball Tour, ensure a Philippine sweep of this year's events, and win his seventh event in this, in this San Miguel Asian Nine Ball Tour series. Truly awesome year. I mean, you, you, know, you start talking about all those accomplishments, and we still have the World Championship of Pool to come in November in Manila on his home turf. So the 50-year-old guy just keeps getting better with age. And another tour victory.
for Efren Reyes of the Philippines. And uh, what else do you say about him? Ricky Yang sort of biting his lip as he walked away, so he will be thinking like any, you know, nobody likes to be beaten. He always would like to think, well, you know, I should, that's one I should have had. But what a tremendous tournament Ricky Yang has had to get to the finals, the first Indonesian to do so. And on the other side of the ball, well, Efren Reyes. What can you say? The champion and also the champion of the Ho Chi Minh leg. In fact, the Filipinos sweep all four legs.